السلام علیکم ڈیئر ویورس سٹارٹنگ ود دا نیم آف اللہ دی موسٹ بینیفیسنٹ اینڈ دی موسٹ مارسیفل سو ایف یو ریمبرس وی ہیو آلریڈی ڈسکس ان اور پریویس لیکچر اباؤٹ دی فارماسوٹیکل نینو سسپینشن ڈیئر ویورس یو آر واچنگ می ظہور اسلام آن مائی یوٹیوب چینل and today the topic which I am going to present that is the characterization of nano suspension how the nano suspension can be characterized so before starting the characterization process or the characterization of nano suspension we should know about the characterization so what is characterization so actually characterization um, it is the process through which uh, we can uh, understand the physical and chemical property of the pharmaceutical products or any materials and actually these preparations have been effect on the uh, products performance so now how the characterizations can be done so there are different uh, phases through which we can characterize the nano suspension so the first one is particle size distributions so what is particle size distribution particle size distribution is the determinations of the particle size determinations or determining the particle size distributions or the photon correlation spectroscopy so there are different technique which are used for the characterization process so one technique is photon correlation spectroscopy the second one is laser diffraction or ld the third one is dynamic light scattering dls and the fourth one is counter counter multi sizer so i mean that uh, if we are going to characterize the nano suspensions so these are the different technique through which we can characterize the particle size distributions the second one is zeta potentials so zeta potential mean that actually we are going to find out the particle charge distributions so the zeta potentials can be determined with the help of a special type of instrument which is called zeta sizer you know that zeta sizer this is very expensive instrument which is used for the determination of particle charge distributions the nano suspension exhibiting the good stability for an electrostatically stabilized nano suspensions a minimize zeta potential of 30 millivolt which is required whereas in case of a combined electrostatic and steric stabilization a minimum zeta potential of 20 millivolt is desirable now come to world the crystal structure and morphology so in characterization process we can also find out the morphological characteristics or the morphological evaluation of drugs nanoparticles which was conducted through transmission electron microscopy and scanning electron microscopy i mean that these techniques are also used for the characterizations so if you want to find out or to determine the crystallinity the crystal structure or the morphology so the morphological evaluation of the drug nanoparticles it can be determined with the help of are through transmission electron microscopy and scanning electron microscopy 
another one is entrapment efficiency so first of all you should know about the entrapment efficiency so what is entrapment efficiency and simple words entrapment efficiency it is the difference between the initial drug quantity uh, um, and free or un untrapped quantity of drug so entrapment efficiency uh, this is the ratio between the initial uh, drug uh, quantity and the free are the unbound or the unentrapped uh, quantity of a drug so uh, it can uh, be determined by measuring the concentration of the pre-drug and dispersion medium so the obtained suspensions it was centrifuge and the drug content or its quantitative analysis can be done with the help of by using the spectrophotometer or HPLC high pressure liquid chromatography. Entrapment efficiency or percentage of contents and look at the equations on my screens entrapment efficiency this is equal to the weight of the initial drug so it can be subtracted from the weight of the free drug and then it will be divided by the weight of the initial drug multiplied by 100 so this is the general formula which is used for the percentage entrapment efficiency or um, in other uh, words we can say that percentage entrapment efficiency uh, is the uh, ratio between uh, drug loadings and theoretical drug loadings multiplied by 100 so simply you uh, it can be written as that the drug loading divided by theoretical drug loading multiplied by 100 okay so now come to world the saturation solubility and dissolution velocity so as we know that nano suspension increase the dissolution velocity and the saturation solubility so we have already discussed this point in our previous lecture so the size reduction lead to increase in the dissolution pressure is increase in the solubility that occurs with the relatively low particle size reduction it may be mainly due to change in the surface tension leading to increase in the saturation solubility Uh, thank you so much for watching my lecture. So inshallah in my next lecture we will just talk about the applications, the pharmaceutical application or the clinical applications of the nano suspensions when a new suspension has been formulated and then it can be characterized. So after that we should know about its uh, application and the daily life. Thank you so much for watching my lectures.